What's up everybody, Silver here with another Halo Wars 2 achievement guide. This time we're doing three at once. We're doing all of the new DLC achievements that came with the Arbiter. So those are None Shall Escape, which is kill 20 air units with the Arbiter while raging, which is done in multiplayer, skirmish, or blitz. Time and Place, which is trap 100 units with stasis in multiplayer, skirmish, or blitz. And Trials of the Arbiter, which is of course win three matches as the Arbiter in multiplayer, skirmish, or blitz. So find a friend, start up a game of strongholds on any map, it doesn't matter. You can see I'm playing with Shadow here. We took the fog of war off, we put the time limit up to 30 minutes to give us more time. Not that you have to do this in one game, but it just is easier if you're not starting the match over and over again. We put the Emperor Skull on, which gives you uh, a faster recharge for your Y ability. And we also set that uh, cooldown to 200% in the pregame lobby, which is another way to decrease the amount of time you have to spend recharging your Y ability. And there's a couple other beneficial skills you could throw on to decrease uh, training times and increase your resources, but you don't really gather resources and strongholds. But anyway, start up that match, and we'll do None Shall Escape first, which is kill 20 air units while the Arbiter is raging. Uh, rage is his actual Y ability, so he can't uh, attack any air units at all if he's not using that Y ability. And what's nice about the Arbiter is he recharges his ability very quickly at least with the Emperor Skull on and the 200% cooldown setting in the pregame lobby that we put on. So for the majority of the time that he's using his attack, uh, he's actually recharging the majority of it, so it's kind of crazy. So just get whoever you're playing with to fly some Hornets, or better yet, some Nightingales, uh, because Nightingales won't attack you. And the Arbiter will have no problem tearing through the Nightingales. Nightingales are the way to go because you don't have to, like, move the units in and out. Like with a Hornet, you'd have to worry about the Hornets accidentally killing the Arbiter during the process, but, but with Nightingales, just get your uh, rally point, set it wherever the Arbiter happens to be standing, and just uh, let them all fly over to the Arbiter, and you can keep raging on them and uh, get those 20 units pretty quickly. Now for Time and Place, which is trap 100 units with Stasis. This is also incredibly easy to do with a friend. So Stasis is two of your leader powers, actually. There's just a Stasis 1, I think it's what it's called, and there's a Mass Stasis as well, which is a much bigger... Uh, radius, but it does the same thing. So you can kind of go back and forth with those powers. You could use uh, Stasis 1, and then when that's done and recharging, you could use Mass Stasis, so you could kind of go back and forth. Just have your friend make a bunch of units. It doesn't matter which kind they make, whether it's ground, air, uh, infantry, whatever. It's, uh, stasis actually affects buildings as well, so if you drop it on your opponent's base, it will halt all activity. So whether he's building any units or building a uh, building itself, it will actually halt all activity, which is pretty neat. And you can see I'm going to drop my mass stasis on this big group of infantry, and they're all going to be hovering in the air, unable to do anything for a while. But that is going to get the achievement to pop, so these two are pretty easy. And then for win three matches as the Arbiter, you could have your friend resign three times, and you resign three times, and it'll actually give you each the uh, achievement for winning. And if you don't have a friend to do this with, uh, you could get it pretty easily uh, with the friendly AI if you play a skirmish game. And you could always play uh, in Blitz or regular multiplayer as well. And these are definitely things you'll just get over time. So not much skill involved, you just gotta put in the time. And for the three wins, if you're having trouble getting those, there's a very easy way to do it without your friend resigning. If you don't have a friend to do it with, you could go into a game of deathmatch against an easy AI, put on the after party skull, and give yourself uh, the highest amount of power and supply to start. Take off the fog of war and just build bases on all the mini bases and uh, the regular bases to start. Once they're built, destroy them all except for your main base, and that will give you a tank and infantry unit for each base that you destroy of yours. So just send your giant army that you're getting through the after party skull to their base, uh, blow it up, they'll generate a tank and an infantry unit as well because the after party skull affects both you and whoever your opponents are, but quickly take out their one tank and infantry with your numerous tanks and infantry and you'll get the achievement. And I have a guide right here that you could click on if you want more details on that strategy. I've outlined it in this above video, so click on that if you need more help. But that's it for this one, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Click like and subscribe, leave a comment, follow me on Twitter at Halo Completion, and on Twitch and Mixer at SilverScorpion4, and I'll see you guys later for more Halo achievements. Make sure to check out the podcast on iTunes and Google Play, which is Halo Conversation on this as well. And there we go. See you later.